All right, Algebra 1A students, welcome to uh, part one of your video on lesson 6-5. In this video, we're going to start talking about linear inequalities, uh, which are very much related to linear equations, which we have been talking about a lot in algebra class. We looked at a lot of equations and a lot of graphs of linear equations. We have just finished up solving systems of linear equations. Um, and in this video, we're going to begin talking about linear inequalities. Okay? Linear inequalities are very similar to linear equations, except instead of an equal sign, you will see uh, either a greater than or less than sign, something like this. Greater than or less than, or potentially greater than or equal to, uh, instead of equal. Right? Instead of the equal sign, we will see inequality symbols. Right. Now, uh, a linear inequality, as an example, would be something like this. y is greater than x minus 3. Now, y equals x minus 3 would be a linear equation, which we've been dealing with uh, for quite some time now. And now, in this section, we're replacing the equal sign with, that, with as we can see here, a greater than or less than symbol. Okay? Uh, in this first video, we're going to talk about what a solution of that inequality means and what it means to find a solution to an inequality. Okay? A solution, just like a solution to a system of inequalities, is an ordered pair x, y. Uh, so again, they're going to look like this, like our, uh, our solutions did for systems of equations like we just finished. Uh, x, y. That makes that inequality true. Okay? So we'll have to plug the numbers in and check and see if the inequality is true when we read it or if it's false. Okay? What we should realize, though, is that there is an infinite number of solutions. You can have as many solutions to a linear inequality as you want. Okay? You can just keep making them up over and over and over and over and over and over again. All right? And we will represent them graphically after uh, in our next couple of videos. Uh, in the coordinate plane on a graph as all points on one side of a boundary line. So we'll talk about what a boundary line is. We will graph boundary lines and shade one side of that line. But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to start by identifying whether or not a certain ordered pair is a solution to an inequality. Okay. So here's a, a question for you. Is this ordered pair here a solution to this inequality right there? Well, in order to do that, we're going to take a 1 and 2 and put them into the inequality for x and y. x comes first, y comes second. We know that, right? x comes first, y comes second. So, uh, let me take the 1 and we put it in where the x is. And we take the 2 and we put it in where the y is. And this equation ends up saying 2 is greater than 1 minus 3. Now, 1 minus 3, as we know, is negative 2. So the question for us is, is 2 greater than negative 2? Is positive 2 bigger than negative 2? The answer, of course, is a yes. So we would say absolutely yes to this point being a solution to the inequality. All right? uh, if we look at the other quarter point here, uh, we have negative 3 comma negative 7. And again, that's x and then y. So we're going to put negative 3 in where the x is. Negative 3 in here for x. We're going to put negative 7 in for y. That equation then says negative 7 is greater than negative 3 take away 3 more. And the question for us is, is that true? Well, negative 3 take away 3 more gives me a negative 6 if I go down 3 more. The question is, is negative 7 bigger than negative 6? Well, a positive 7 is bigger than positive 6, but negative 7 is not bigger than negative 6. The answer there is absolutely no. No, it's not. Okay. So this ordered pair 1, 2 is a solution to the inequality. It is a solution to this inequality because it works. It makes a true statement. This coordinate point, negative 3, negative 7, is not a solution because it gives us something that's not true. Right? Negative, uh, negative 7 is not greater than negative 6. That's not true at all. 
So we'd say no. No, it's not a solution, all right? I have one I'd like you to try. Here's a new uh, inequality where you have to do a little work with fractions even. Uh, multiplying fractions. Multiply the top, of course, and then divide by the bottom. See if that coordinate point here, 3 comma 6, is a solution to the inequality. Putting 3 in for x and 6 in for y. Hopefully you've taken a few seconds to try that, to come up with a yes or no answer for yourself here. What we end up seeing is uh, when we plug 6 in, we get 6 is less than or equal to uh, 2 thirds times 3 plus 4. Okay. Now, uh, 2 thirds, sorry, less than or equal to. And now I have to multiply 2 thirds times 3. All right, two thirds times a three, which I'll write as three over one, gives me six over three because I multiply the tops and then multiply the bottoms. Six divided by three is two, so this is two plus four. And the question for us is: Is six less than or equal to two plus four? Well, the thing we have to remember is this equal to symbol. Uh, that I would like to appear here as well. Right? Because 2 plus 4 is 6. So our question is, is 6 less than or equal to 6? And the answer is certainly yes. Now this one is a little bit tricky because 6 is actually exactly equal to 6, but that's okay. 6 is allowed to be equal to 6 in this case. Uh, if there was not an equal to line there, then we'd have to say no, because 6 isn't smaller than 6. It's actually exactly equal to 6. Right? So the answer here is yes, because of that equal to piece right there. Right? If you have questions about checking to see if an ordered pair is a solution to a certain inequality, please make a note to ask me in class tomorrow. Otherwise, that's all I have for you. Have a wonderful night.